Billy, you uh, you've got your mobile on you? Of course. Right, listen carefully. In a few minutes, you're going to get a phone call. You don't answer it, just come into the office and tell me that I'm needed out here. That's all you've got to do, all right? I don't understand. No, of course you don't understand. You're not supposed to understand. You just do it. Whatever you say. Oh, and uh, when Mel gets here, they send her straight through to me. Phil! So, what's this all about? All right with the drinking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. Good. And you're gonna be all right in the morning? Fine. It's all about willpower and I've got loads of that. Yeah. So is that it? Can I go now, please, sir? Well, you don't want to drop this first? Yeah. Now you're talking. Listen, uh, me and Mel, do you think I'm doing the right thing? Probably not, but... Well, we can't help ourselves, can we? What about you? You uh, ever see yourself getting married again? Rich widow with a, a terminal illness, I might force myself. <laughs> right, tell me the truth then. What do you think of Mel? She's a nice girl. You've done well for yourself. Yeah, that's what I reckon too. Steve, what is all... Oh, all right? We was just talking about you. Good things, I hope. Oh, of course, good things. Hey! hey. Mm. There you go, look, I'm sorry to drag you away, darling, but I was missing you, you know. I thought we could have a little toast. I've got this stuff out of the fridge. I mean, it's the best stuff I've got in the house. Uh, since when? I realised what I've been missing. So, how's things over the Vic? Well, you have to be in the right mood to see Jim Brandon with no clothes on. What? Well, don't ask. And how's Lisa? Yeah, don't ask that either, eh? Well, happy marriages. Happy marriages. Sorry about the interruption. You're needed. Yeah. Just give me a minute, eh? Oh. Not finding yourself, eh, Steve? That's very sad, isn't it? Just get out. So, who the fool, eh? You and me alone the night before your wedding. Why are they drinking? All down to you and a broken heart. You're being ridiculous. Yeah, well, jealousy usually is ridiculous. <sighs> admit just one thing. That you enjoyed it. Well, what would be the point in that? Because it's the truth. And once you said it, I'd never mention it again. All right. All right, yeah. I enjoyed it. Would that do you? From now on, I 